In the previous video, I did a demonstration of how this uh, little Arduino Uno with a screw terminal shield and a RS-232 shield uh, essentially made a, made us a $40 PLC or RTU with a lot of um, I.O. Arduino is programmed with a Modbus RTU protocol in there. Four discrete outputs. I have six discrete inputs. Uh, two analog outputs and uh, there are six analog inputs but 12 general purpose I.O. Set up a, a mixture of those that you like. We've got analog inputs. We'll turn this one up. Notice that uh, as you turn them on it's uh, showing up on the screen here. I'm going to put a 1. Enter. Notice that it came on. Uh, 50. Came on a little more. Alright, so that was the demonstration. I am going to show you absolutely everything you need to know to build one of these yourself, including the wiring and the programming and uh, what to download. So, all right, so I'm going to go through this pretty fast. Um, all of the links are going to be on my blog post. I'm also probably going to bundle all this software for easy download for you guys. This isn't something that I came up with. Obviously, a lot of people have gone to a lot of work. Um, but this one worked pretty well, so Oz Willy um, gave this post, so he says go here and get the Modbus library, so we're going to grab it, go ahead and download it, save it, and then he has this, um, this is the Arduino sketch, so let's uh, go to our downloads here. So modbus.zip extract. All right. So we've got two things here. We've got this library and we've got examples, which is this uh, Modbus Slave PDE here. The library, what you need to do is just copy this or cut it and the latest version of Arduino allows you to just go into your documents and Arduino and in this libraries here this is where you go ahead and po uh, paste it I've already done this you can see um, and then the example you could put it wherever you want um, I just put it in this root here so there's a sketch called Modbus and basically what this sketch is is I went back to this website and copied everything out of here you can see include modbus.h blah 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 so I pasted that into a sketch alright so now our Arduino is programmed having some video issues here the only thing you really need to set is the slave ID. You can have about 254 Modbus devices all on the same network so um, you give them a unique address and you just call it by its address when you're requesting data. Um, there's also you can see here's where he's adding the registers for digital in, digital out, analog in, analog out. And then there's the baud rate here if you want to change the baud rate. I think uh, 9600 is fine. And then uh, go ahead and uh, save it and upload it to your Arduino. Um, we need a few Modbus masters, um, of course, and a serial port on our computer. All right, so Modbus PL. This guy has one called Modbus Tester. Go ahead and download that one. This Modbus Tester is pretty nice. I like it. However, I didn't see how it could write to um, coils and holding registers and stuff. So I found this other one that uh, writes pretty well. So it's QMod Master on SourceForge. Yeah, the Windows executable zip was the one you probably want to grab. All right, let's uh, try one of these. Let's do the M 
tester here. Okay, so first thing you need to do is do your settings. We're using Modbus RTU, so we're doing the serial settings. If you were doing Modbus TCP, <laughs> it would uh, use these TCP IP settings. But anyway, Modbus RTU, I'm going to select my COM port. 9600, 8, none, and 1 is the most common settings you're going to uh, ever run into. Sometimes um, between your Modbus slave and your Modbus master, these registers might be shifted up or down. So um, there's a little hunting around at first to find the exact registers. So we're going to start at 2. We're going to take get six of them in here. Values are all zero. I'm going to flip it on. I'm going to start with that one, and it works. So I can flip these discretes on, and you can see the values coming in. Oh, I skipped one. It's working. Trust me. All right, so now let's do um, input registers. Um, we have all of these. This is binary data. That's horrible. Um, decimal. All right. So I only have potentiometers on the first two, and I need to start at one. All right. Now notice the other um, inputs are like floating around. Um, and that's um, something that an industrial PLC they would they would have these other inputs kind of nailed down to ground and you could put like a 10k resistor on all of these to make them stick to the ground but what we'll do is do that so it looks better for this demonstration so I'll turn this one all the way up all the way down let's turn this other one all the way up all the way down so my inputs are working great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect here. Let's try this other program. Uh, QModMaster. And once again, this is the one on SourceForge. All right. I noticed it was a little hard for me to find. But I had to go up here and do Modbus RTU. And that's where you can set your uh, serial port. 90 blah blah blah. Baud rate. And my slave ID is 10. So <clears throat> we're just going to go straight. You can read the coils, read the discretes. So let's do that. I think we started at 2. And we wanted to read a couple of them. Uh, this button says connect. This one says scan. So they're scanning. Let me mash these. The switch. All right. So you can see that we can do the same thing with this uh, piece of software but um, we can go ahead and write so we'll write a coil um, so our coils once again started at 8 so let's do let's start at 8 or 7 I don't know which way to go um, or might really should be uh, that doesn't matter. So we're going to click on that guy there. We're going to write a 1, which is true. And you can see on my other screen that this one came on. We're going to write a 1, which is true. And you can see on my other screen that this one came on. Right single register. All right. Heck, we'll just start with 10 and 
Go live. We're going to write something to this like 30. To this like 30. All right. I'm going to write a 200. 200. So it should go max brightness. All right. I'm going to give it a zero. All right. You can see that the PC is requesting information and then the uh, Arduino turns right around and transmits right after uh, it gets the receive. How I have this wired really fast is I'm getting ground from ground 5 volts. 5 volts is coming in and on this breadboard the red indicates that this entire rail is positive this entire rail is negative and Sorry that my wires are kind of messed up, but anyway, these reds are power, and then the blues are negative. I have some potentiometers here. These are 10K potentiometers. Uh, we have ground in the green, 5 volts in the orange or yellow, and then this white is going back over to my analog inputs. So that will give you the full scale analog in. Analog out, there's two uh, PWM outputs on 10 and 11 going through some LEDs and some 470 ohm resistors and these resistors are just to limit how much current these LEDs pull. It would work if you just plugged all these LEDs in but it would be pulling uh, quite a bit more current than necessary and your Arduino chip could possibly overheat and burn up. So anyway, it's always a good idea to use uh, current limiting resistors with your LEDs. So here are the outputs. We've got 8, 9, and 12, and 13 set up as out, just digital outs. So the positive voltage comes down here to the LED goes through the resistors to ground. We've also got six uh, discrete inputs and they are two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these inputs were actually coming from positive here going through a switch to the inputs. Now these resistors in the back are um, 1k or 10k resistors that pull it back down to ground whenever you turn this switch off sure you've disconnected the positive but there's nothing in this uh, Arduino that will immediately pull them down and keep them down so these resistors going to ground um, this is something that would be built into an industrial PLC that we have to to do a few things to, to make the uh, I.O. work properly.